The Intruders 2015 has the one Disney girl star or whatever from High School Musical, Miranda Cosgrove or something. It's cool seeing her in something completely different that's not, you know, kid G-rated. But sadly, she's in a pretty boring movie. It's okay. This movie's okay. It, I don't know. Your, your stereotypical haunted house movie, even though in the end it's not. It's just creepy, a creepy neighbor or a creepy person or a psychotic person who needs mental help. But yeah, her and her father move into this house. Her father's like a house retailer guy don't know what's called he goes around selling houses to people so most of the time she's there alone and you know she meets some of the neighbors sp specifically only one i don't know why i said many of the neighbors you got this girl who's like lonely as well and her father or one of her parents are like stay away from us very overprotected you know mother or father or whatever and then while she's in the house alone she starts hearing you know weird noises sort of the typical like Ooh, what is that you know while she's trying to sleep you know just all, it's a lot of that too movie isn't bad it's just we've seen this before and it's it, it sucks i wanted something out of this especially out of the last two movies yeah i don't know about this man this is a uh, third movie role i'm not enjoying it but you know she eventually figures this out or she first she gets kidnapped by this person turns out it's this guy that lived in a house or something because at first we meet this guy who she you know she's into because you know he's the cute guy and you know she thinks it's him because he keeps coming in and out of the house randomly which is very dangerous i don't know why she was allowed to do that because her father was around but you know that's still very dangerous allowing strangers to come to your house unwillingly but turns out it's not him it turns out he was just kind of a typical cute nice guy it turns out this guy lives in like down in the basement of this house which how did you not know that you're like expecting this house but i i don't know this area i don't remember what city or area this is in but assuming this is just a bad area so yeah this crazy guy explains this whole thing he's been in the house turning shit off messing with her touching her she gets out i think he dies somehow she gets out not gonna lie i was pretty disappointed when it wasn't supernatural or ghost related because the movie was pretty dull and boring so you know there's two options either something supernatural or just some crazy guy and it turned to be the latter half and i was pretty disappointed next is the seventh day october 7th and i know it's going to be a good day because the movie is it follows i've only seen this once and i'm super excited to see it again